Aloha, you're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're at the New Orleans Convention Center for Microsoft TechEd North America 2013 in booth 816. If you're at the show, please come on by and visit us. And yesterday, on our top five countdown, the number five question here in the booth was, where's Ryan? And guess what? We're fortunate to have Ryan. Uh, yeah. You found him. <laughs> Ryan Korak with us. He's F5's technical director for our Microsoft partnership. Ryan, great to see you. Thanks for joining. Thank you very much for having me. Now, you might not know this, but uh, Ryan has resisted for many years. Three. Three at least <laughs> to come on camera. So I really appreciate it. He's one of the smartest guys at F5, particularly about uh, F5 and Microsoft solutions and how they're integrated together. And so earlier this week, we announced the NVGRE, the Network Virtualization Solution, um, on our virtual edition and with running on Microsoft System Center. And I thought it would be great just to get a little deeper dive into what exactly all that means and, you know, the fun stuff. So first, what is NVGRE? What does that acronym stand for? So it's a tool that Microsoft uses to enable their Windows network virtualization solution. And it, uh, it's, it's been created because there's been a couple problems now that we have uh, a VM sprawl across data centers. Uh, a couple of those issues have been uh, VM mobility. If you want to have a virtual machine move to the cloud or even move across the data center, uh, there's always been that last manual step of having to re-IP address the virtual machine as it moves. That's been a big issue for uh, service providers and enterprise data centers. The other issue that uh, uh, they also have uh, is IP address conflict and IP address overlap. Mm -hmm. So service providers trying to host for multiple customers have always had to allot specific IP addresses for each different customer and make sure that those don't overlap. The problem is, on the customer side, they may not be using that same IP address space. So there's been a lot of issues around that. And so, network virtualization is designed to actually solve both those problems. Be able to allow data centers to move virtual machines across the data center or up into the cloud and not worry about having to change the IP address at all. With network virtualization, the IP addresses are actually abstracted from the wire. Right. And so uh, VM mobility is not an issue, and IP overlap is not an issue anymore. And you were just mentioning about uh, moving a, a host from within a data center or even up to the cloud. It also means even from data center to data center, so even geographic locations, moving them and not having the conflicts. Absolutely, and that's just a key piece of uh, virtualiza server virtualization, is being able to have that dynamic movement of virtual machines without having any manual steps. And yeah. so this uh, solution gets rid of that last issue that they were having with uh, VM mobility. And so I, we um, you know, together drew a little diagram here on the whiteboard. And so can you just walk us through a little bit? And, and it's very basic, but it actually makes a lot of sense. Sure, uh, the solution that we released uh, today was uh, our gateway solution for NVGRE uh, that runs on our Hyper-V version of Big IP LTM. And so uh, when customers are going to deploy network virtualization, the one thing that's required to make it work is a gateway solution so these virtualized networks can talk to the native IP networks and get out to the internet or get out to the other data centers. And so uh, what we have in the Big IP is the ability to be that gateway and bridge your virtualized networks and your native uh, IP networks. And so. Um, that's what we, we're announcing uh, this week is we have it available as our virtual edition. And then uh, by Q1 of 2014, we'll actually have this functionality in our hardware appliances as well. So. And, and then you got these, the, the VM1, VM1, and then VM2, VM2 coming out. And it just basically, I mean, it, it's exact, exactly as it's drawn. If an issue occurs with either one of these, host one, host two, host 14, for crying out loud, and, just swing it over to here, and also maybe you know to a backup data center too. I would imagine pretty much any facility that has connectivity, right? <laughs> sure. So with our solution uh, with NVGRE, we're using System Center Virtual Machine Manager to manage the workloads and the VMs and uh, de determine if a VM needs to move around in the network or be uh, bursted into the cloud. Uh, VMM will actually handle that. What VMM is also going to be doing 
is communicating with our device to okay. tell our device that, hey, these networks have moved or these v VMs have moved, and that way our device is aware of that and can direct traffic appropriately. The other great part about our solution is not only are we just being a gateway between the traditional network and uh, the virtualized network, we can also add all that same traffic management capabilities that we're known for, the, the load balancing, the acceleration, the security. We can do all of that into virtualized environments. One of the benefits of using our device is we are aware of overlapping IP address space just with our TMOS uh, traffic management engine. Right. And so that allows us not to only be a gateway, but also be a tra traffic management device for uh, all your virtualized and native uh, networks. And so there's also been a couple of sessions here at uh, TechEd North America that's been highlighting this new integration. How has the reception been with the attendees? Reception's been great. Uh, uh, before Microsoft was willing to demo it, they made sure uh, that it worked and they validated it and uh, put it through the uh, test to, to make sure we weren't uh, playing any tricks and uh, they felt comfortable enough with it to uh, demo it into a couple uh, of their shows and, and uh, the, the, the reception's been great. And it's, fully, it's then fully supported by both organizations? Absolutely, absolutely. So very cool stuff, Ryan. And then you know this year, like I read the, you know, I knew this was coming. Read the press release, but to get a little, you know, much deeper always helps me understand the technologies a we lot better. We do this uh, probably once every three years. Well, hey, we're that, on, we're yeah. on a three-year rotation of our uh, of getting together on camera. Thanks a lot, Ryan. See you again. Pete. Awesome. So there you have it, a little bit more, a much deeper dive into the NVGRE solution, the integration really, between the F5 Big IP and Microsoft System Center. So this time I got Robert behind the lens. Thank you, Robert, for Ryan, my good buddy Ryan. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.